Oh, Simon, can you get me some gloves? Customs has a delicate problem on its hands. Thomas has just flown in from Prague and, to put it mildly, he's on the nose. Just before he got his passport stamped, he pulled his pants down to his ankles and adjusted himself. What's more, he's travelled halfway around the world without any luggage. Now, you're here for a holiday? That's for 10 days. Do you have any clothes? Where's your clothes? Oh. Nothing else in your checked-in baggage? What do you want to do in Australia? Can you tell me anything that you'd like to see? You want to see the... I don't understand. Do you want to see the famous things here? Yes, the big, yes, yes. Yeah? Hyde Park, yes. Hyde Park. Do you have cash money? No money. No, no, yeah, no money? Yes, I have money, yes. How much money? Uh, five money does. Anything in your pockets? Yes. There's no law against travelling light, but his passport looks dodgy. He's got a visa in his passport that doesn't have a name on it. Meanwhile, AR-1182 is in from Argentina. Passengers are being screened behind the immigration line for drugs. The dog's just come up to this uh, particular passenger and basically just sniffed him for about a second and then just gave a very, very strong sit response. So that's an indication to us that there's narcotics either on their body or in their bags. This is the last thing Oscar needs right now. Your mother was sick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You went to visit her? Yeah, in a, in a ankle day, so hey. Did you eat anything on the plane? Yeah. What did you have? Uh, I had the lot because I was very hungry. And he's kept a little memento from his flight. Yeah, that's from the air, and you cannot remove it from the aircraft. An X-ray will reveal if he has anything else tucked away. Two screws Maybe. put in the uh, place in the bag. Uh, Maybe for reinforcement or something. I want to know why it's, it's happening. You can tell from here that's the, uh, one of the runners on the bottom of the bag. All bags have two runners. There's no runner on this side. The runner on this side has one, two, three screws, and plus another one up here. And uh, it's obvious that this one's been taken off. What's strange is look at this. The visa. It's got no name on it. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Thomas has some explaining to do. Because usually, I'm assuming they write in there, but either they haven't written it in there or it's a bullshit visa, wasn't it, sir? How yeah. much money has he got? Well, he reckons $500. We're just going to have a talk to immigration. Come with me. Hi, Ken. Hello. Mate, I'm wondering if you could have a look at this person for me. He's here for 10 days. He's a Czech national. Not got too many funds on him at all. I want to see the town, yes, yeah, Hyde Park, and so, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Where did you um, first notice this bloke? Just after the duty free. He just decided to adjust, adjust himself and um, tuck himself in, but his pants were around his ankles. That's basically... Concern, isn't it? Yeah. Thomas looks more like a tramp than a tourist, here for 10 days without so much as a change of clothes. Just ask him and he indicated he'd like to go to the bathroom to refresh and wash up, which I think is a good idea. You can close the door. Thomas says he only needs to wash uh, once a week. Michael begs to differ. I don't want. You don't want it? No. He went to the toilet, he stood there, looked at me, and then I looked at him and we just had an awkward moment together and then he... I... I'll speak to him in a minute. <laughs> no, um, matey, no cigarette. No, no cigarette. Here. Back in the customs hall. See the base under there? which is a different colour to that. The base there is a uh, greyer. You can see the eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oscar's sports bag appears to have been altered. If it was a normal bag, it wouldn't have any uh, different compartments there. It would be just one uh, slab. The base of the bag made of cardboard or uh, wood. Uh, you can see the distinction between the bag and the base down the middle there. So I'd say the bag was reconstructed and uh, the bags were put in there. What, what's happening? What's the problem? Okay, my officer just told me that there could be a concealment in this bag. Okay. So I've, I've just taken yep. an x-ray of that bag. Yeah. And it looks like there's something in the bottom of it. Okay. Caution yeah. So I must caution you. You do not have to say or do anything. Anything you do say or do may be used in evidence. Do you understand that? In immigration, Thomas's bad habits have landed him in more trouble. Yes. You can't smoke in here. Yes, uh, I'm, 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 I'm afraid, yes, I'm afraid. 
dance yeah. style. We'll get someone to speak to you. Hello. Hello. I just want to ask Thomas a few questions. Okay. Where are you staying while you're staying in Sydney? At Hotel Una Capitol Square. Do you have a confirmed booking there? Máte tam zamluvený? Ano, mám, mám tam zamluveno sedm nocí. Yes, I've booked the seven nights. Do you have an itinerary? Uh, no, I just want to have a look at the city and then just uh, go for a short trips. Uh. How much money have you brought with you? I have Is that hours. Four. Five hundred US, okay. No credit cards at all? No. Já jsem důchodce. No, I'm uh, retired or on a pension. Can I just ask you, Thomas, why you're travelling very light? Sydney Airport. Hai Moi is back from Vietnam with what appears to be excess baggage. When I first noticed him, he was up near the finger just getting off the plane. In this gentleman's case, I was primarily interested in his calves, which were bulging. So how long have you been away from? Oh, five weeks. Five weeks? Yeah. When we spoke to him, he started sweating, became very flushed, appeared quite nervous. How did you get so long off work? Yeah, I'm going for holiday. For holiday? Yeah. What's this one for? You have a sore stomach? Yeah. Ah. What's the matter with it? Huh? What's the matter with it? We've taken uh, samples of the gentleman's baggage and off his wallet. If he's been in contact with any narcotics of any kind, those particles we're going to analyse in this machine. You have ulcer or what? Yeah, yeah. This one, I'm doing thin, I'm eating, you know, good. Oh. Yeah, before I... That one's actually negative. Because of the flight, the major narcotics we get off that is heroin. And this machine, you need to actually run the sample twice so it burns hot enough to get that. Thank you, Tom. Now, you sure you've got no baggage, no suitcase? No, uh, really, that's all. If Thomas is just a drifter, he's drifted an awfully long way from Prague to Sydney with just $500 and the shirt on his back. <laughs> what if you need some more money? How are you going to fund your stay here? No, that, that will be enough. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes, Okay, I'll be here. Thomas claims he has a seven-night prepaid booking. So the hotel's been confirmed. Has that all been paid for? Okay. All right. The all hotel right, checks out just. You know He's covered for seven days out of ten. Have you seen that? But there's still the question of his passport. That means he was unsuccessful in this visa application. That's from the US Embassy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He's got a visa in here also for South America, which he never used. He Definitely saw the Americans it. in September, and then he saw us. Hang on. There's something missing here. Proof positive. Hai Moi has had some sort of contact with drugs. Before, the officer had a little a wand. They did a, a test. The test that we did shows us that you've been exposed to narcotics. It doesn't mean that we think you use any drugs or anything like that. It just means that your stuff has been exposed to it. Of more concern is the rash that suddenly appeared on his arms. You haven't been, been using any drugs of any kind? Like any, any narcotics of any kind? Like illegal drugs like cocaine or heroin? Things like that? Yeah, no, no. no, no nothing like yeah, that? No. Yeah. But because we have got a positive reading, we need to have a good look through. So, what's the matter with your stomach? Two men in uh, here and why? Yeah. He apparently feels quite sick, which is an indicator for us he may have something internally as well. Back in immigration, Thomas's papers are not in order, and neither is Thomas. But a record search shows the visa to be valid. It was issued in Austria. When Vienna issued the visa, they ne never actually saw saw Thomas, so they've just issued the visa and sent it back to the, um, the travel agent in Prague. But that doesn't explain the condition the Prague tourist arrived in. Thomas is a mess. I'm not satisfied about the issue of the funds. Uh, someone on pension can purchase an airline to get around the world, um, not carry yet any luggage, um, 
have $500 in cash, then he can't explain how he can access his funds. If he can't come up with a satisfactory yep. answer, uh, I think that'll be grounds for cancellation. We'll just take an iron scan of the bag and see if we can tell what it is. In customs, Oscar is lost for words. Do you know what's inside the bag? When, what? No, nothing. Then you say, I pack up my bag, I put my stuff in clothes. Uh, the swap was taken from the gentleman's hold luggage. Nothing else. Okay. Should be a new bag. Sorry? It should be a new bag. That bag is new? At Sydney Airport, while Elle McPherson and son Flynn wait to claim their bags, Oscar is claiming ignorance about the contents of his bag. Iron scan result. He wants to find out the result. It's positive. It's positive. For cocaine. But, uh, yeah. Can be. Sorry? Can be. Yeah. Can be. Yeah. Remember, this officer cautioned you that you do not have to say or do anything unless you wish to do so, okay? Anything you do say or do may be used in evidence. Do you understand again? I don't understand, sir. So in this. I, I'm just cautioning you again. You do not have to say or do anything. But anything you do say or do I may be say, used in evidence. This is the only listen, stuff we listen put to in the me. Bag. Listen to me. Do you understand my caution? Yeah. <laughs> Just meters away, High Moy's bag has also tested positive for traces of cocaine. All we're doing at the moment is just looking for a uh, method of concealment, which can be inside handles of bags. Some people unscrew them and in well, slide heroin, cannabis, cocaine. Uh, in this gentleman's case, he's had uh, readings for cocaine. The x-ray is inconclusive, but there's enough suspicion to dig deeper. Recently, um, we had a concealment and nothing was revealed on the actual x-ray itself. And we used a um, method such as I've just been using. We found that there was a small amount of heroin inside the frame. Despite the reading for cocaine, Tony's still searching for heroin. Vietnam is a source country for opium poppy. He is of interest for a variety of reasons. What do you mean? What do I have? What's the top of Meanwhile, Oscar isn't wild about the attention he's receiving. If Paris the sniffer dog sits, Oscar's in trouble. Good girl! Good dog! Good girl! Are you carrying any other narcotics on your body? I don't carry narcotics. Okay. I don't use to carry narcotics. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have anything on your body? I am, I am not. Okay. We're taking you to a room now, okay? We've done further investigations and uh, there's a very good chance that he could be carrying drugs internally in his stomach, either swallowed or stuffed. So um, we're at the moment um, about to obtain consent to see if uh, he'll agree to an, ex uh, an internal examination. Oscar agreed to an internal examination. He was drug free. But the sports bag contained 1.7 kilograms of low grade cocaine worth $550,000. Moy is a puzzle. His bag was scanned for heroin, then tested positive for cocaine. From Vietnam, we don't generally get cocaine. That's usually heroin, so that doesn't fit in with the normal thing that we're looking for. Even so, they still need answers. The test has come back positive for cocaine again. Can you explain that? No, no. No? Yeah, no. Is, is, how long have you had that bag for? Did you borrow from a friend or family member? No, no my bag. It's your bag, but you had it for one year. The bag is clean. If there are drugs, they're hidden somewhere else. Back in immigration,
Thomas is in dire need of a shower. Now, Thomas, can I ask you, a, a, you might consider a personal question. We were just a, a little bit concerned about the smell and it might be a little bit, him? bit unhygienic. No, I don't know anything about anything like this. This is <laughs> no, a very just... pleasant trip. Oh, OK. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm very satisfied. He's only got the clothes on his back at the moment. He hasn't got any other clothing with him. Is, is he going to buy any other clothing at all? So you're just going to stay for the next six or seven days in the same clothes that you have now? Yeah, I've always changed a shirt once a week. Okay. It's sort of yes, normal yes, for yes, me. Yes, yes. That's good, okay. Well, the shirt might last the ten days, maybe, but the money in his pocket won't. Do you have access to any money when you get back to Prague? I've got enough money when I get home. To, to get my uh, a meal and get home and then I can take the money out of the uh, savings bank. Will you be suspended at 10.05 hours? Thomas is fighting a battle with immigration. The Czech tourist has arrived virtually empty-handed for a 10-day holiday. I know he's got a package book, but that doesn't mean he's booked it. Yeah. And he maybe if he would have had some luggage, maybe. He's got no luggage, Nothing. and he doesn't even know how much money he's got in his bank account. And a mm. check pension is not very much anyway. No, well, I'll give him a notice of intention to consider. So, and see what he says. And see, see what, what he says. says yeah. Now, Thomas. Yes. I'm going to give you what is called a, a notice of intention to consider cancelling your visa because we don't think you're a genuine tourist here and because you don't have enough funds to support yourself while you're here. He says he's an invalid pensioner. He says he doesn't have any friends or family. It's likely that he'd become a consular case. That is, someone who's lost, bewildered, um, out of his depth in Australia. I'll come back in 10 minutes and you can give me a reason why we shouldn't cancel your visa, OK? I can tell you right now. What I guess you do is put your arms out for me. Right. Your legs apart like that. Hi Moy is being patted <sighs> down for drugs. Nothing. But with Hi Moy looking unwell, yeah, great. there's great. one Thanks more place honest. to search. The officer told me that you're feeling sick in the stomach. You're not feeling too well, but your stomach is upset. Please. For these ones, for your stomach. You feel sick? I don't understand. You don't understand? He was telling our officer here how he felt sick and now he's not understanding what I'm saying. We're saying exactly the same thing. The concern is the uh, possible uh, concealment of uh, drugs yeah, internally. Spine scan readings, even though they're not what we're looking for, he still can't explain them. It's um, positive what... here and positive there, so... Yeah. We might go into a, one of the rooms here and sit down and have a, a little bit more of a talk. OK, I, look, we, we see you. You look like you are unwell. You know, we have many officers here. We all think you are um, you are sick. Sometimes people, if they eat drug, are yeah. sick. Hi Moy's story checks out. The only thing he's carrying are bruises from a holiday mishap. From what he told us in there, the explanation for the you know the injuries on him and what's happened, he was quite free and. Um, showing us exactly, um, you know, he's been in a motorbike accident. You know, his behaviour just wasn't consistent with what we would um, expect with a um, internal concealment. Well, from his accident and the, the heat rash that he had, that yeah. explains why he was hot. The pallor. And the, the face was red and the whole, had the blotches all over the body. On to the next one. Customs officers speculate that Hai Moi had unwittingly come into contact with US dollar bills. Now, Thomas, could you give me some reasons why we shouldn't cancel your visa? Thomas stands to lose a lot. Obviously, the airfare and the pre-booked accommodation, but it's going to hit someone like him particularly hard because he says he's an invalid pensioner. First of all, my return ticket is valid in one week's time. Yeah, that's my only reason. And I ask, is there any other reason? He said, no, of course, that's it. Immigration is not convinced Thomas can support himself for the duration of his stay. His visa is cancelled. He's going back 
to Prague. We'll be going out this afternoon at uh, 4.15. What was that? But the plane won't take him anywhere until he freshens up. We're going to have to get some towels and toiletries and clothing because he needs a wash and a change of clothes. He can't go on a plane the way he is. Here's the shower, OK? Yes. Now how to use? Yes. So we, we will wait out here for you. When you finish, you knock, knock yes, the door, OK? Yes, yes. I don't think he used the soap. Tons of soil in between the toes. The smell is absolutely irritating. It must have been years without wash. Thomas arrived in Prague the following day. He hopes to return to Sydney sometime in the future.